Welcome to today's Monday maintenance video. Today we are going to talk to you about how we maintain our sticks and bricks home while we're on the road. Stay tuned. Gary, Stacy, Spirit, and Sophie we're taking our motor home around the country. Around North America, we're on the road. It's Powhatan of Travels. Here we go. All right, welcome to our channel. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button down below so you can get notified whenever we put up new content. Today we are talking about full-time RVing or part-time RVing. There are three types of RVers. There's a weekend warrior, the part-time RVer, and the full-time. And we kind of, we're right in between the part-time and full-time. Probably more towards the full-time thing, just because we are gone for such an extended amount of time. Mm -hmm. um, but still part-time, because we do own a home. Yeah, and we're on the road over six months, truly six to eight months out of the year, usually. Mm -hmm. So today we have had a lot of people ask us how do we maintain our sticks and bricks while we're on the road and so we're going to talk about that today. Okay guys, well now we'd like to talk with um, our house sitters, Scott and Melissa Webb and kind of get an idea of why they chose to help us out, how we found them, how they found us and, and uh, why everything works together so well for us now. Yeah, it was about this time last year we put an ad on the escapers job board looking for a property sitter and it said residential work camping opportunity in beautiful eastern washington for the summer mm -hmm. <laughs> and we found you guys so why did you guys respond well we had been on the olympic peninsula on the western side of washington for about six to seven months kind of exploring that side of the state we really fell in love with Washington State and wanted to explore a little bit more. And we're looking for where we were going to go next. My parents were coming out for a visit from the East Coast, and we're like, okay, we need to stay in this area for the visit. And then after that, you know, we can we're kind of free to go somewhere again. And uh, Scott happened to stumble over you. Saw, you saw the post, right? I did see the post. Mm -hmm. yes. Scott saw the post and was like, hey, we should call him about this. This looks fun. And we love gardening. We love being outside. We love yard work. And that right. was one of the <clears> things <throat> that they posted. And we're like. Huh. Heck yeah, we can play on the river for the summer. We don't mind. We don't mind <laughs> going, and we don't mind doing all that kind of stuff. So one of the things I missed about full timing as well is uh, the yard work. You know, um, it's great traveling everywhere and seeing different sites, but actually getting out there and in into the sun and, and mowing the lawn and weed eating. It was some things I missed okay. uh, with with actually full timing as well. So it gave you it gave you responsibilities of a of a home again. A mix. A, a mix. mix. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. A good mix. Well, and they certainly equipped us with all of the essential well, yeah. tools to get it done. So it wasn't yeah, like I mean, we were we, we were lucky. That part of part of owning a home is also owning all the equipment to maintain the home and the property too. We were so thinking we about pulling a riding lawnmower behind the fifth wheel. <laughs> <laughs> but the DOT did not like that. <laughs> yeah. So I know with our um, work camping opportunity we put out there, we said, you know, we'll give you free place to stay with hookups and water if you'll just do light yard work and any other uh, miscellaneous things that could happen that could go wrong they Emergency took care for us, us. Yeah. yeah we yeah. had an instance uh, my mother actually came over to use the house and for some reason our our ac system went out and so scott being adept to that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> went in and took care of the problem for my mom and was our hands-on guy since we were not able to right. uh, handle it right and you also took advantage of the property and the fact that you started your own vegetable garden while you're here yeah. oh yes yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you grew uh, tomatoes and pumpkins and tomatoes and watermelon. watermelon our daughter ellie got to plant some strawberries it was yeah. the first year for them so they didn't produce too much and she had fun <laughs> watering and checking them on the right. daily basis <laughs> right it's it's hard on the road to eat really fresh and organic unless you know where the the, the fruit stands are and mm -hmm. vegetable stands yeah. are where you're staying but 
you know, it's always great to be able to grow your own food while you're still exploring the area as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And one thing I will say is that our relationship turned into a family. Uh, yep. yeah. Scott and Melissa, as you can see, they're still with us. <laughs> <laughs> it's, been, it's been almost a year. It's been very yeah. nice. We love the area. Well, we and with that, with them being here, when we're gone, they're here. So there's still somebody living on the property and people that drive by or people that walk by or whatever see that there's somebody living on the property. So it's a, an added level of security for us. Yeah. yeah. So another reason we wanted to have a property sitter while we're gone. Yeah, and it worked out, it works out great. I mean, they live in their fifth wheel in our lower lot, so they have their own space. It's not like they moved into the house and are invading our space. And uh, we, it's like they're, they're our neighbors. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> they're, actually, they're, they're, they're still further away than most uh, in town Housing tracks. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. And some RV parks. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're very lucky that we have, we, our home is on two and a quarter acres. So mm -hmm. we can provide a buffer of space. Right. Well, and the other thing that was really nice was when you guys were building your home, you lived in your motor home. So you were able to have all the hookups that we needed. So we yeah. didn't have to worry right. about, yeah. you know, how are we going to hook up? Because we're not really equipped for boondock. We had everything we needed. Yeah. Our good. shop has 50 amp service. So they were able to fully, uh, hook hook up their mm -hmm. trailer as well as run the AC when it was hot. We have water at the site as well as a, a waste tank that we've buried that they can dump their waste in and uh, every six to eight weeks uh, a septic company comes out and pumps it out for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it works out great. They got, they got full hookups in our yard. Yeah. They yeah. don't have to move the rig. Yeah. With a beautiful backyard. <laughs> yes. Well, you, know, you, you have to keep in mind, we were full timers for two years before we met Stacy and Gary. Yeah. So we were traveling all over the country. Uh, there are, if you guys are thinking about going full time, but you're kind of, you know, have some intrepid feelings on selling your home and everything, because it is a big step. We did it, but uh, uh, we were prepared for that. But uh, I think if it's, if you are wanting to do that full time try and but are not ready to sell your home, there's a lot of people out there like us mm -hmm. that love the love the area they're in. They're, we're we're considering buying some property down the road, but uh, right now uh, we're still exploring the area and see what we like. And uh, there's a lot of us out there. It's yeah. a win win for it both is. both mm -hmm. the homeowner and the full time traveler mm -hmm. that wants to settle down for a couple weeks, a couple months, or even a couple mm -hmm. of years. And you guys have like almost become part of the community too. You you, yeah. you yes. developed some friendships and relationships within the community. Uh, the, the the kids have gone to ballet class and this and that. Mm -hmm. so. yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's we have a great. two and a four year old. So mm -hmm. it was this perfect timing to meet Stacy and Gary so they could actually start going to libraries and story yeah, times and, and getting in with the community. Mm -hmm. uh, full timing, they love it as well as we do, but they don't understand uh, home life uh, as of now, right? So yeah. far. So. Yeah. And and that that the social skills exactly. is very important with yeah. the kids, that was especially important kids your age. Yeah. So yeah. they're 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 introduced to other other kids their age, so they can develop those social social abilities. Correct. Yeah, we Good. we joined a gym that has the childcare, so they can go and play with other kids there. And then Ellie was in dance, so yeah. they've definitely gotten a chance to. And Stacy and Gary were, they're obviously very well connected to their community and they were really, really, really good at, um, you know, kind of directing us and letting us know some of the great places to look into to getting plugged in here and even introduced us to several people before mm -hmm. they left. So that's yeah. good. It's great. been a great experience all around. So uh, if you're thinking about going full time, I know why Gary and Stacy asked us to do this video with you guys because don't to hold off on your dreams because yeah. you don't think you can find someone that you can trust to mm -hmm. take care of your home if mm -hmm. you're still on the fence. Yep. It can be done. We love it. They love it. We became friends and sure. family. Win-win. Yeah. Yep. yep. Truly well, and, and, you know, there, there's all other alternatives, too. It's not just maybe <laughs> finding finding property sitters was great or mm -hmm. finding a house sitter is really nice. But my parents now, yeah. they're, they're just now retired. They have their, a great fifth wheel and they want to go full time. They have a beautiful house out in uh, in Spokane Valley. They're going to rent the house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They got it. They got um, associated with a really good quality rental agency and property management company. In, it's in actually Spokane. a house sitting service. Oh, that's right. It's a house sitting service. Yeah. There are services out there other than if you don't want to do this on your own. Like we took a gamble by putting an ad out 
Through an organization I trusted, the Escapers, mm -hmm. we found Scott and Melissa. But there's a lot of house sitting services out there that you pay a small fee to get set up, and then they will do the background checks mm -hmm. and hiring, and they'll pay your utilities and this and that. Um, so there's other options. I believe they actually even pay the rent. I mean, by the way, the mortgage, the, the mortgage and the utilities yeah, is all paid through this service. Every company is different. Yeah. So you need to do the research. So there's quite a few options you can have because, you know, getting rid of your house or selling your house is, is it's a huge decision. Yeah. And, and like Scott was saying, don't let that hold you back because there are alternatives. We like having an exit plan. You know, everyone's saying you have this beautiful house. Why don't you just live here? But the road's calling us, but we have an exit plan. If we want to come off the road mm -hmm. for any purpose, and there's many reasons why people come off the road. It could be health reasons. It could be aging family members. It could be littles that it's time to start school. Mm -hmm. We've known friends that have come off the road because their kid was in high school, and he just wanted he the wanted high school high experience school. Mm -hmm. of finances. This is not all fun and games and an easy free life. Um, breakdowns can bring you off the road mm -hmm. and truly just your loss of desire. Right. Yeah. So having having the exit plan or having our house, whenever we have, if we encounter one of these situations, we have a place to go. We're not trying to sell our, our RV to get an apartment or something to reestablish our life. We have a house. It's also a benefit in a fact we are ha already have a domicile. We can get health insurance in our home area. So if we have big medical, we can come home and take care mm -hmm. of those medical appointments, annual checkups. Um, another benefit, sorry, I wrote all these down. <laughs> um, Friends and family, too. I mean, come home. Yeah. If you, sometimes the road gets weary and you just want to come home and settle for a little bit. Mm -hmm. But usually we have found settling only lasts about two months. Yeah. <laughs> it's so crazy. And this last time they were ready to get back on the road right away, but we're trying to hold them down. Yeah. <laughs> we want to visit with them because they're going to be gone longer this time. Yes, we are. But yeah. I just want to say thank you for letting us interview mm -hmm. you for a small snippet of this video Absolutely. to let people know um, you don't have to sell it all to go part-time or full-time. Yeah. <clears throat> There's ways to work around the situation. There, there are several different job boards. I know escapees isn't the only one. There are several other ones that um, people frequently post house sitting opportunities and property sitting, property sitting opportunities. So take a look at that stuff. Maybe you'll find somebody like Scott and Melissa. And uh, you know, it, this isn't just, they're not just our property sitters. They're lifelong friends and family now. Yeah. yeah. So we've, we've gained a great friendship with this as well. Absolutely. More of the story. Full timing was the best thing we've ever done. Absolutely. Uh, don't let the best thing you've ever done hold you back by something silly as this. You can meet great people. Even yeah. with us, we still own a house and we do the full time experience. Mm -hmm. you, you can easily go full time with the right steps in place. That's right. Having a plan is a good thing, though, for this life, I think. Yeah. A little, yeah. For preparing for it. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't have to know where you're going the next morning. You can kind of... I think when we were camp hosts in Texas, my mom was like, well, where are you guys headed next? I was like, I don't I'm not really sure what route we're taking. We she goes, care. well, you really don't have to guess. You <laughs> have a lot of the drive, right. do you? You could go right, right or left and wherever <laughs> you guys choose, which is yep. the beauty of this life. I it love is. that our, our um, backyard scenery changes every day we move. Yeah. 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 It, it can change as often as you want. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Scott, Melissa, thank you for yeah. joining us Welcome. in this video. You may see them in a couple more videos. You never know. We are home for five more weeks. So. Not even five weeks. We're leaving in a month. Four weeks. Yeah. I guess by Today. the time this airs tomorrow, it starts a new week and we're down to four weeks. Today is the first. We plan on leaving on the first. Just, yeah. just saying. That's true. And that is not an April Fool's Day joke. No. No, it isn't. No, it's not. Texas or bust. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Well, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this first video of our series about maintaining a sticks and bricks when you want to be a part-time or full-time RVer. We plan to do a couple more videos in this series. This is just the start. Next week, we will talk about specific things that we do to stay connected to our house while we're on the road. So stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, hit a like, drop us a comment down below, and we will see you next time.
As always, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up down below. Leave us a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We thank you for watching. Until next time, Pow Hana! Hana.